Master, master. Mm -hmm. I, I have, it's, uh, it's very bad news. Ah, uh, Shifu, <laughs> there is just news. There is no good or bad. Master, your vision, your vision was right. DreamWorks made another bad spin-off show and it might get a season two. That is bad news. Hellspirit, so recently Kung Fu Panda was renewed for more content, and now with DreamWorks' history, you'd think this was another cash grab, which might be right. But the animation looked like an upgrade, and Jack Black was even voicing Poe again. So I thought I'd check it out, without further ado. <laughs> It focuses on Poe and a new ally from England trying to capture two weasels. They both have to hunt them down and find mystical weapons across China before the weasels do. But both characters learn techniques and things from one another to progress as friends and grow as characters. The Dragon Master has downgraded into a normal warrior after letting two weasels go and accidentally destroying a village. Throughout the show, it's focused on getting back his title, but it makes it hard when he has to resort to illegal methods. <laughs> Lufiri is a bear from London. She is a knight who is chasing the two weasels, all to save the world and to avenge her brother. She is a cold-hearted character, but warms up slowly with Poe's company, and learns some kung fu methods knights don't learn. The show's main villains, they're two weasel mages with Klaus being the more calculated and level-headed and Veruca being batshit crazy. The hamster thing is a side villain throughout the show. He sends out his guards to capture Poe who has done illegal actions to save China. He's basically a common idiot rich guy. Now, yes, despite its boost in budget, there are still a lot of issues with what they showed and what they didn't want to bring to light. <sighs> Just like with the other show, there aren't a lot of jokes, and some even feel enough to be forced. Now, the show's jokes, if you will, I would say are a lot more gags than they are actual jokes. I don't think I really laughed once throughout the show, and that's... Very disappointing. I'm not sure if this is comedic, but uh, there was also some random point where Veruca offered Poe to switch teams, also calling him pet names for him. That's just, um, yeah. And just like with the Nine Realms, they do the same trope, but I think they handled it a lot better. So, what am I talking about? It's real that this guy, a, um, yeah, he's actually a knight. Despite looking like a guy who would sell drugs to you on the street, why does he go after Poe? Uh, I'll talk about that later, but uh... He was after Luferia, who was a criminal in England, not a knight, and wanted to avenge her brother by capturing the weasels. This leads Poe to be hurt by Luferia, not being a knight, and for reference, she's been treating him like dog shit the entire time. But unlike the Nine Realms characters, which was a smaller lie, but had the characters in there being butthurt by it for so long, the characters in Dragon Knight, thankfully, do not solely focus on the lie and do make up. It's a small impact of the plot, which takes place in the two-part finale, so I'll honestly take it. I just... I, I have no idea what happened. Since the first episode, he was basically his usual self. He wanted to explore, he knew how to do his kung fu. He, he has talked to himself before, right? But as the series progresses, he feels like he's lost everything. But if you're a real fan, you know he clearly hasn't. He has a ducking dad. The Furious Five, Shifu, most likely every fucking kung fu master in China, especially Master Oxencroc. And all of that gets destroyed because he destroyed a town by accident? Which also had him lose his title, which also doesn't make sense, but for him to want something cooler onto his armory? Sure, being a kung fu dragon knight sounds like something he would do, but at the same time, how he acts is so disappointing. For the most part, he's still your lovable nerd. Action figures, comic books, 
That's still him. He's just so submissive, just so he can impress Lefiria. A sidekick, if you will. And there was just this little thought in the back of my head. How does Poe not realize that this is basically Tigress? She's a harness that's dedicated to a designated role. And for the record, these two became best friends as the movies went on. From hating him, then respecting him, to being his friend and therapist. And finally, a completely changed character thanks to him. You'd think he'd say to Luferia, you remind me of my friend Tigress. I don't know, but if you want a better analysis, I recommend you watch those with more insight than I at this point. Now, yeah, in a piece, it's a concept that was brought back, but in the form of a fighting style once you clear your mind. So, when I saw this, I won't lie, when I was impressed, they were going to bring back this cool thing. So then, they use it for one episode, and then forget about it. I'm not kidding. To include an established concept, then to never use it again? <laughs> That's just the most fucking retarded thing I've ever heard in my life. I was gonna say they could excuse a few examples, but they use inner peace when he's crossing a lava river. Now, with me just talking about inner peace, there's also more than just that. I don't know what it is, but studios don't like overpowered protagonists. Again, he's saved China three times. He's most likely met a lot of other Kung Fu masters and learned something from them. Heck, I even remember an episode in Legends of Awesomeness about him learning unique techniques from scrolls. So it is disappointing that he's been nerfed a whole lot. Kindly step all the way in, please. Just like with the Pause of Destiny, this show doesn't really have the Furious 5. It said Tigress was mentioned, but uh, I wouldn't know. Never watch the show and do not plan to. But I have seen the weird uh, beach ball match. Wait, wait, wait is that Tai Long and Ugwe? I still would have liked the Furious 5 on the screen. With his childish personality, the Furious 5 most likely wouldn't have changed to fit the Furious needs. Pictures, please. Now, I liked this character at first, and then she started talking, and then she showed how she acted. She was a character who was Kung Fu Panda 1's Tigress. It, it, it just got tiring fast. Yeah, she changes at the end, but we've already seen Tigress's growth. Now, this is an issue similar to the Nine Realms, where they would have mirrored characters from the past into a future generation. The characters, they're the exact same. Uh, you would think I'm kidding, but adventurous lead Sundere female protagonist. Even the dragons are the fucking same. Just fusions and impress of the originals, and cultural backgrounds being their dragon. And it was obvious with Lufiria. <laughs> So, alongside the weasels, there are also three other villains. The rat, the buck, guy, and the semi-villain baboon. But they are extra villains that make the plot more harder for the protagonists. First off, I hate this rat. Now, I'm not calling him by his title, just what he deserves to be called. I thought he would have just been a character mentioned in the intro, then forgotten. Watch one episode of him and you'll see why I hate this little rat. But as for the other reason, the entire reason he exists is because he somehow owns the Dragon Master title. He can strip it away from Poe because he accidentally destroyed a town? Y you wouldn't even have a job, dumbass. Tylog was an insanely powerful warrior who almost destroyed the Valley of Peace the first time. Shen had fucking cannons no one could win against, and Kai had every master under his belt. He'd be dead, you fucking rat. Second, the uh, Buck Knight. Now, as a villain, he was menacing at first. He was still menacing, but showed more anger, had a soft side, and showed no signs of being a noble knight. Unlike Lefiri's brother, but uh, I, I didn't mind the slight hints that the Buck was a knight, considering mages were a new concurrent concept. <sighs> and I just need to bring this up. I'm assuming he's a good tracker, right? So uh, why did he follow Poe? If he, uh, if he knew the two were in a partnership, well, why didn't he go for Lefiria? He was after her, who split from Poe after he was captured. Th th this show is confusing at times, I tell you, man. Finally, the baboon. When I said semi-villain, it's because she's established as a villain, but during the end, it said that she would help the bears with getting the other weapons. Uh, right, I fur. Hmm, 
Forgot about those. Uh, back on the topic, I don't have a lot to say about her. She's fine for a character, but if there's a season two, I hope she's not unbearable. Stop this little game that you are playing. So, I forgot when writing this script that those, uh, those exist. Despite Veruca using the gauntlet, the Baroon having the whip, you forget there were other weapons that most likely will conclude in a season 2, which is a 50-50 if it would be produced, considering the Nine Realms is still a thing, and there's no confirmation of a season 2 as of now. Now, I don't have a problem with weapons, them causing destruction of Pangea and such, I have a problem with how it started. Th these people blame Poe for destroying their town? <laughs> Besides the fact that they left the gauntlet out in the open for anyone to grab, so if an avian flew in and took it, th that they'd be fucked. Regardless of its defenses, a person needs to work the machine, so a couple darts or heavy hits would leave the guards incapacitated. <laughs> While I have praised the animation a few times, it's more the lighting that I like. Just like the Nine Realms, it has some amazing lighting, sometimes, but Kung Fu Panda's lighting is more consistent. Some, let me just highlight the word, SOME of the fight scenes are definitely decently animated, and then sometimes the animation can feel lazy in some scenes, so at least it looks better than this, uh, heap of shit. <laughs> This is mainly an issue with these two. Now, I don't like this part of their arms. Like, what, what the fuck is that design choice? I, I'm not fucked to write more, but if you dislike some of the designs, I most likely do too. I'm not bothered to talk about the other minor characters. They're just shit characters who shouldn't even exist considering where they came from. All right, I, uh, I've got everything out of my system. Dragonite is definitely okay, not a masterpiece by any means, or a major improvement from its predecessors, but uh, it still has some things that is good about it. Not a whole lot though, but uh, yeah. Now I haven't touched upon this yet, but I love the performance from these two characters. I mean, they're the original voice actors, of course they give it the role. I say this because a lot of the cast should have been recast into a better job. Like, the Fira's performance here is just so dead and robotic. <laughs> you missed me! Do you remember me? What? What? You've been chasing us? Not that. Before. Do you remember me? If I could give one bit of advice, it's not worth the watch. Do not watch the show on any streaming service, it's just not worth the watch. But to use your time more effectively, I recommend the other shows Netflix has, which are infinitely better shows. Its lighting is decent, its animation isn't the best, it needs a new voice cast, they ruin Poe's character. Just do not watch this, for the love of God, do not watch this.